All right, guys, so this is it. I mentioned to you guys that there was something I wanted to tell you guys about, something I was really excited about, a project that I've been working on for quite a while now. And um, this video is different from everything else I've done, but this is, uh, this is a huge endeavor in my life. It is changed my life and I am so incredibly excited about this. Forgive me, I've been a little bit under the weather. My voice is not the greatest. Uh, you can hear it there, I can't talk anyways. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's kind of show what's up. So uh, this is, like I said, this is a different video. This is a different room. This is a project I have been working on, a small project in a inside of a very big project. And what I mean by that is this is a bedroom that I, have recently redone, completely redone, just uh, boards, paint. Uh, I got a three season room that's still gotta get some adjustments and stuff in there, so it's you know, masked off and whatever, but I got some things, some vacuuming, some things I gotta do. Look at this freaking bed. This is like the coolest bed in the world. It like reclines and all that stuff. I put these, so that's like tile, like vinyl tile that I had to like set up and and like map out and you guys are like what the heck are you talking about this bedroom is in a house that i just bought i mean i'm paying a mortgage so it's not, i'm not like made of money or anything i i am not i'm not wealthy i i bought a house and this has changed the rest of my life there's i have so many ambitious ideas so many it's just it's just creative stuff that I would love to just be able to do and this is going to allow for all, all, so much of that and I'm going to take you through I'm going to show you a few things and I'm super excited but this is just an example I, this is an almost completely finished bedroom I have the bed I got the freaking awesome cool wall the you know, accent wall whatever that's just super cool I got a, 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 a a space over here that I want to kind of work on it's it's a it's a large closet I was gonna turn it into a hobby space I think I've changed my my ideas on that and my plans but some you know some ideas and just just kind of going through my head and the reason why that plan changed mostly is because uh, I'll take you over here so I'm a single dude and I don't really have to worry about anybody else and their things so I'm like eventually the living room will have a nice TV and like and a couch and kind of do that stuff that's it's a little bit down the road whatever but I built a hobby space this is my hobby space I have this big desk that well two desks but you know that goes wraps all the way down the other side of the wall I got some some awesome plants for this this space some hobby stuff um, I don't know if I don't know what you guys you know you guys might do uh, make models or do uh, like there's 3d printers over there I have three 3d printers now I just set two of them up now one I've been running for a while I set two of them up I kind of just testing them and doing some things and um, you can see here I've got some some work in progress stuff that's gonna happen and um, I got some some Gunpla. If you guys you guys know Gundam, Gundam, come on, you know Gundam. I got some Gundams, uh, some model kits, of course, Gunpla. I got I got some over here. I'm a I'm a big car guy. I don't I don't do like YouTube type car guy stuff. I like to go to car shows. I like to you know uh, like anything from imports, muscle cars, all that stuff, classic cars. They're all good. That's what a car enthusiast does. They enjoy it for what it is. Anyways, I got some like car model kits, but like a lot of my passion revolves in like like a lot of creative stuff. So like I got these Gundams. I I I've made one Gundam in my life, and that's when I was a kid. And a quick little story is I had there was a Gundam at Walmart, and I was looking at it, and I was like, Mom, 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 I gotta get this Gundam. It's it's like ten bucks. And I was like, it's super cool. It was the RX-78. And a basic, you know, basic gun. Everyone pretty much knows the RX-78. And I didn't know it was a model kit. I didn't realize it was a model kit. I begged my mom. We were not we're, we were not wealthy. And my mom was like, um, oh, all right, you know, I'll get it for you. 
I came home and found out that I had to put it together myself. I was so upset. But, but, because I, we didn't have a lot of money, I was like, I didn't want my mom to be like, whoa, you wasted that $10. So I was like, in secret, I, I built it. And I pretended like, you know, everything was good and I was happy and I was happy in the long run, but I was super upset that I had to build it. I was like, I just wanted to play with it. Anyways, that was my first ever model kit. And now my first my first model kit as an adult, I'm gonna rebuild that kit. It's the new version, but it's you know, like it's modernized, so it's not as brittle, it's got better joints, whatever. I'm gonna build it, I'm gonna build it, I'm gonna enjoy it, I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna kinda learn how to properly build and uh you know not some crazy whatever but i make sure that i get my sanding done and all get get my nubs all taken care of and all that stuff i'm gonna learn on that kit i'm gonna move up do a, a zaku kit so that this because it's it's fairly plain but it's got a lot of like it's got a lot of room for creativity so this is going to be like my experimenting kit i'm gonna like you know, learn panel lining and do other stuff. You guys can can come along for the journey. Um, so, one thing is that I'll probably be splitting this stuff up on another channel. So, like this hobby stuff, especially, I think I'm gonna do somewhere else. So, uh, I do have a channel that I made called Gross Productions, and I think that's going to be my hobby channel. I'll tell you a lot, another creative idea that I have come up, kind of coming up, but I wanted to do like a hobby space for my, my gun plus some cool custom car stuff and like diorama model stuff. Um, my 3d printing stuff, some, some like lore crafting and storytelling. Cause like I see some of these, some of these 3d prints. Let me see if I grab one right now. I mean, like you got this, these big dudes. So I I joined these the Patreons for these guys, but like you got this big barbarian dude with tusks and a giant axe, and there's these other barbarians and stuff like that. But like I get these ideas for like uh, that maybe like someone who is a, a dungeon master would be like I need a quest for my players, and uh, you know maybe I'm just I'm having a, a crate of black. And I'm and, and my brain is like seeing some of this stuff, and I I just come up with these stories, and maybe I just tell these stories and show a couple miniatures to inspire people, or maybe someone's like, oh, I need some new barbarians that I don't have, and I can show you some barbarians you can get from this awesome uh, you know artist on Patreon or on their My Mini Factory or something, and like. Because I love that independent creator stuff. And I want to help people, like, achieve that, you know? Anyways, so, like, there's some of that. Like I said, my Gumpla stuff, my whatever, my 3D prints. Kind of show you guys some of that stuff on that channel. Um, but there's, there's another creative idea I had. And that has to do with, like, showing you guys like current events and nerd culture and a lot of the stuff that you see like in the news like that people are like all right here uh from uh, e3 there's this cool new blah 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 i want to do that in like a creative comedic way from like different points of views and doing some like just creative skits some fun stuff you know what i mean um and uh you know script it out or whatever but kind of make it kind of make it fun um obviously the lighting in here is garbage because it's a new house i don't, I don't have a, i got a i got a lamp down there i got you know i'm missing a few bulbs still um the so like that like three bulbs blew and then i took like two bulbs out of that ceiling fan and put one in the kitchen and put one in the living room because the kitchen all the bulbs were bad in the ceiling. Anyways, you guys don't care. Anyways, so um, I guess the last kind of thing, other than that, like creative news type stuff, fun and comedic. Um, there's the one other thing, and this is something that you guys are all like familiar with to some degree because you're on this channel. But we'll run upstairs. So this would be the second bedroom, but in this part of my life. And my YouTube career, my YouTube career, I'm a nobody. 
this is going to be my my new office. This is going to be my my studio. This is going to be where I I do YouTube. This is where I got, I'm going to do my editing. Obviously, there's nothing really over there right now. This is where I'm going to do my editing. This is where I'm going to do my live streaming. I'm going to get that all sorted out. I really want to like start embracing and and be you know you gotta you can't you can't you know become a YouTube sensation without uploading videos. You can't get popular on Twitch without live streaming. Anyways, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be in some big shot. I just wanted like enjoy it and share it, you know? Uh just alright, so this is gonna be it's gonna be my office. I wanna do like a like a L shaped desk where I can sit and live stream like I do and talk and this and that. And then I wanna be able to like have a green screen on the other side. So that like I can stand at a, my my standing desk because I have this cool setup. You guys will see uh, at some point. You know, like, right, obviously, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna stand up. We're gonna talk. We're gonna kind of like, you know, we're gonna chill. Probably for like live streams and stuff. But we're gonna hang out. We're gonna do some cool stuff. I'm super excited. Umbra. Umbra, super excited. Look at him. I don't know. He's he's still in the box. I mean, I took him out. I sh I made a video on that. I took him out. He's cool. But right now he's in the box because I just I just moved here pretty much. Clem Clem and Excalibur are over there. Look at those guys. All right. Anyways, I just I'm just being stupid now. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's the surprise. That's kind of the the ambitious, life changing thing that's happening in my life right now, and. I'm so excited for what's what's to come. It's so cool. It's so cool. It's easy to kind of get discouraged, but like I've been trying real hard to to do this and get get here and and start you know uh, setting things up the way I I want them and need them because I am one of those people that I've got to have things just set up conveniently for me so I don't like. I'm one of those people where I'll buy something, I'll use it two or three times, two or three times, or I'll, I'll use it 20 times in a row. And then suddenly my brain will just go, you don't have that thing, you forgot about it, it doesn't exist. And then I'll just like stop doing a thing. And for whatever reason, my brain's like, it doesn't even go, hey, remember when you used to? No, it forgets for like months or years, some, some there's certain things like years. And then you go, all of a sudden one day you go, wait a minute. I used to do this all the time. It was weird. I don't know. Yeah, I'm goofy. Maybe I got a brain thing. Maybe I got a brain. I, I'm sure I got some kind of brain thing. Look at me. Anyways, before my voice gets worse, thank you guys so much for coming along. Even giving me a chance doing to this type of stuff. Stand in my doorway. Maybe you guys want to just come in. I don't know. I don't know. My, my 3D printer. I got to check on that one. I got to let me check on this one right now. This is a test print. And I know the lighting, like I said, is not good. But a little test print. It's it's a little like cube. So I'm a I'm a pop this off real quick. Oh, well, you know what, you guys know. You know what? Can you see that? Can you see that? Let me get still. Get still. It's a test print. That way I know that it printed. It prints all right. I just set this one and that one up. So, anyways, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. But. I got so I work 12 and a half hours a day two days two nights and then I have my weekend two days two nights I have my weekend and I'm out of the house every day for like 14 hours it's a little bit tough I work a lot and uh, I've been up so oh I've been up for 20 20 almost 21 hours and I gotta be up for another like five, cause I'm doing the day to night thing, and I gotta, cause I got a big gap between those two shifts. Anyways, I do that all the time, and it's it's a little rough. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming along, hanging out, give me a chance. I appreciate you, and uh, 